Hey Redland Hills, I'm Blake Ottinger and this is my wife Allie. And we're uh, excited to talk about Proverbs 9.10 because this scripture reveals how to begin your journey with wisdom. Proverbs 9.10 says, The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom, and knowledge of the Holy One is understanding. Yeah, and the first thing we want to address is the beginning of wisdom is not being afraid of the Lord because, it's, because that's just going to distance ourselves from Him. But rather, to fear the Lord actually draws us closer to God because it means to have a holy reverence for Him. And this places Him in the most authoritative position in our lives. When God is not in the right position of our life, some area, in some areas of our lives, we think we know best, and so we follow our own ways. And as a result, we walk in foolishness. And this never ends well. Back in my college days, I knew God, and I believed there was a God, but I didn't fear the Lord. And so I didn't obey Him. And I remember there was one night specifically when I felt like the Lord told me not to go to a certain party and be around a certain crowd, and I flat out disobeyed. Uh, this resulted in a broken jaw by the end of the night, and this is one of the most obvious examples of when I was walking in my own ways and the foolishness that doesn't acknowledge God. Well, it was shortly after that I did become a Christian, and I started fearing the Lord and walking with Him, and I can see the fruit of walking in wisdom I now have a great relationship with my family and friends and have a successful business, have uh, so much more peace in my life, great health, and most recently outpunted my coverage by marrying this beautiful woman. Yeah, so what we found is that fearing the Lord is closely tied with obedience. When we fear the Lord, we obey Him. And when we follow His ways, we walk in wisdom because his ways are always better than our ways. His ways are perfect and it always leads to life and what's best for us. And so that's why the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. That's right. And so our prayer is that you acknowledge who God truly is, fearing Him with a holy reverence so that you experience God's best for, you, for your life. And I'd like to close this in prayer. Uh, Father, we thank you uh, for this 28 days of prayer and just, God, what that means to us, drawing closer to you. And God, hopefully through this, God, that we would place you in the authoritative position that you deserve, God, on the, on the throne of our hearts. And we uh, pray this all in Jesus' name. Amen.